Oh my god. Did you see? There was a TikTok video about those animals. And the TikTok video was just like, you could see the butt of the, of the animal. Oh no, it was the alca alpaca. There was the alpaca walking. You could see its ass. And then we like kind of zoom back and the alpaca would look at the camera. And it got banned on TikTok for being too lewd. <laughs> God, it's too funny. <laughs> What's up with Gacha Game getting banned person. from YouTube and TikTok lately? <laughs> Subscribe, please. Hi, YouTube. Today, I'm coming to you live with some videos. We got all the character teaser, collected miscellanies, as well as character trailer for Mualani, who's going to be available starting tomorrow. God damn, I can't speak. Anyway, I haven't checked those actually, so I want to have a Luxis here. Moalani is probably going to be the first character I'm going to be pulling for Natlan. I'm definitely going to be, be skipping Kinnik, and then I want Xilonen that got drip marketed not super long ago. And finally, uh, in terms of other characters I want, I probably want Chaska, I probably want um, Mavuika most likely. I don't know if I can get all of them, but hopefully we get the chance. We're going to get a bunch of resources when the next patch comes in. So I'm very excited. And I think I actually really like Moalani. She's like super cute and bubbly. And I really like that. She has this uh, little idol pose where she does like a, a whole dance with maracas. I think that's adorable. Anyway, let's have a look at this. She's definitely one of the more Being unique characters so far. Being a guide in that land isn't easy. You never know what can happen on an unfamiliar road. Okay. Stop right there. Oh. Hand over all your mora. Huh? I'm a bad lady. I'm scared. Oh no. Still, as the elders say, if you can solve a problem with mora, might as well. Let's have a cat mouse. <laughs> You're new with this, aren't you? First robbery? Hmm. Uh, uh, huh? This is for you. Damn, she's so sweet. To take it, but because you're about to do me a favor. <laughs> oh, you know this area, right? Oh my gosh, she has a W engine. Okay. Whoa, it's here. It's really here. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have done this if there was any other way. Shh, come with me. Huh? Oh, that's so gay. <laughs> Mavuka is so sweet. I love her design. She's so unique. Oh my god. Did you see? There was a TikTok video about those animals. And the TikTok video was just like, you could see the butt of the, of the animal. Oh no, it was the alca alpaca. There was the alpaca walking. You could see its ass. And then we like kind of zoom back and the alpaca would look at the camera. And it got banned on TikTok for being too lewd. Oh my god, it's too funny. <laughs> What's up with Gacha Game getting person. banned from YouTube and TikTok lately? Not a bad person after all. Not anymore. I can show you more places later. Ah, oh, yay! Being a guide sounds like a pretty cool job. <laughs> the elders also say beautiful scenery and good friends are worth their weight in gold. Nice. <laughs> Guess I hit the jackpot. Man, she's so sweet, dude. I really like her. Also, uh, the hat the lady's uh, wearing kind of looks like a... Yeah, like the conquistador's hat and stuff like that, which is something. Uh, all right, next one, we have her enrapturing scenic tour if okay. you visit the people of the springs in natlan look out for the water sports it's... shop with the questionable looking floaters and surfboards on display at the entrance why questionable that shop belongs to muolani a oh. surfer girl likely to come crashing into your life unannounced like a rogue wave onto the shore hey guys how's it going Ma i, I can't believe they actually <laughs> I can't believe the power crept. Uh, Farina's walking on water. Outrageous. 
Our Part traders. to her tribal background, Mualani's connection to the hydro element runs deep. Her versatile elemental skill lets her travel on water and boosts her attacks by charging them up through collisions with enemies. With her elemental skill, Mualani can whip out her surfboard at a moment's notice, ready to navigate the waves at high speed. Heck yeah. She also gains Night Soul points and enters the Night Soul's blessing Man, state. she's so cute! In this state, Mualani continuously consumes Night Soul points as she rides her sharky surfboard. Her movement speed is increased, and as well as being able to travel on water, she can even surf along liquid phlogiston without suffering damage. When all Night Soul points are used up, or when her elemental skill is used again, the okay. Night Soul's blessing state ends. <laughs> In areas with Natlan's phlogiston mechanics, if the active character enters a specific state, Mualani can take the field already in the Night Soul's blessing oh. state, with Night Soul points available. That's nice. Additionally, when Mualani surfs on water or liquid phlogiston in the Night Soul's blessing state, she will consume Night Soul points I thought it was or phlogiston. phlogiston at a slower rate. In the Night Soul's blessing state, Mualani's normal attack is replaced with the more powerful Sharky's Bite, which deals hydro damage based on Mualani's max HP. Colliding with an enemy in this state tags them and gives Mualani one stack of wave momentum. Wave Momentum has a maximum of three stacks, and each stack increases the damage dealt by Sharky's Bite. When three stacks are reached, Sharky's Bite is replaced with Sharky's Surging Bite, further increasing the damage dealt. Yeah, so the way you want to play her is that you want to make sure you collide three times into enemies so you get all the stack, and then you do the big Shark Bite. You basically never want to do her, her basic attack, um, because they actually scale pretty poorly. You only want to do the shark bag because the shark bag actually scales off of your HP. You basic attack don't. So your basic attack are going to be really, really bad. So you don't want to use them whatsoever. Uh, which might mean... I'm not sure if the shark bag actually count as a basic attack in the talent. But if they don't, you might not even need to level it up at all. That's too bad because their animation for the basic attack are really, really cute. But uh, I mean, it's a waste of time, right? That said, um, I kind of like a gameplay. I think it's pretty cool. You just like surf around and you bump into people. It kind of reminds me of Kirara, just stronger essentially. Uh, but yeah, she's definitely, because she actually takes some time before you can deal damage with her, because you have to collide into enemies, that basically means that you can guarantee that she'll be able to vape all of her attacks, right? Um, and you don't need that much power replication. So she's going to be very good with characters like... Um, well, I mean, Shangli, obviously, but you can even use her with a character like Deya, for example. Wave momentum is then cleared. Additionally, when an enemy is attacked by Sharky's Bite, their tag is removed, and Shark Missiles are fired at up to a certain number of tagged enemies nearby. Shark Missiles deal Hydro damage and remove their target's tag. After unlocking the talent Heat-Resistant Freshwater Floater, striking an enemy with Sharky's Surging Bite will generate a floater nearby. Mualani can collect <laughs> floaters she herself has generated to restore her Night Soul points. So cute! Catch an epic wave! Whoosh! Mualani's Elemental Burst fires a Super Shark Missile, which homes in it. on enemies <laughs> and deals AoE Hydro damage based on her max HP. Oh, After unlocking the talent Natlan's greatest guy. And look at that! Who's in the team? There! Boom, baby! Making the great again! Insane! Five party member triggers a Night Soul burst. Mualani gains Wave Chaser's exploits. Using her elemental burst clears all Wave oh, Chaser's exploits. She's so cute! She even did the perfect landing! the damage dealt by this burst. Staying positive and optimistic <laughs> often makes a person what? far more what productive. What is she doing? When <laughs> she's so funny! not like her dude look at what she's doing to increase the damage dealt by this burst Stay ah! <laughs> it looks like one of those sumo suits you know like people put those huge like inflatable sumo suit and then they try to push each other she looks like that positive and optimistic often makes a person far <laughs> oh my god and the animal's just like bruh what is she doing you know prairie more productive <laughs> When Mualani is in the party, interacting oh, with man. certain harvestable so items funny, in areas with Natlan's phlogiston mechanics, will restore an amount of phlogiston. Also, nearby Natlan regional specialties will be marked on the minimap. Yada! If you vacation in the people of the Springs territory, yeah, yeah, Mualani yeah, yeah. will be more than happy to be your local guide. Insane. But anyone who steps out of line will find themselves in hot water. Womp womp.
Mualani starts the battle by using her elemental skill to enter the Night Soul's Blessing State. Then she surfs the battlefield, tagging enemies and charging her wave momentum. At charge level 3, she performs a sharky surging bite, harnessing all her surfing prowess to deal increased damage to enemies. When energy is full, Mualani fires off a super shark missile. And she Actually, and shark I just want to run her with Kirara and do a collision team. Like many business people, Mualani entertains certain superstitions about wealth generation. Okay. Such as a belief in good omens. Hmm. Perhaps that's why she likes to visit Sitlali and have her oh. fortune told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the four star fortune teller. Well, I don't think Mualani has blind faith in the answers she gets. More likely, she's simply curious Look at that! about what's next I in love store her little for her. dancing. She's so what adorable, dude. Or who How can you not is like waiting her? around the corner? And if the omens bode ill, no big deal. She'll either bide her time till her luck turns around, or charge on through to the other side. Sometimes spontaneity is a powerful force that can drive away bad luck. Ah, I love her. She's so cute. All right, we got the latest one, which is the character trailer for her. So let's have a look. See, that actually came out like uh, um, last night, like very late at night. You know, the usual <laughs> 7 a.m. for me. <laughs> The capybara is so cute. Follow me! Here we are! Thanks, dude! Whoa. She's such good vibes! I want her to be stuck inside this thing again. Ailes. She actually does the arm speedy super fast. I love it. Like she was blowing to her thumb for a second there, but she's blowing into the little sharky. She's so funny. Oh my god, I love her. She's great. She has such a happy go lucky vibe, and I love it. I, I, hey, what can I say? I love myself a very just a positive character. Kind of a breeze, uh, uh -huh. Here we a are. breath of fresh air. Did you have fun? Of course you did. Dude, Catch she's you on the next one. so freaking cute. I love her so much. I absolutely adore her. She's so funny. That part. Right. <laughs> this part is outrageous. Oh my god, I'm saving this. It's too good. I love it. Anyway, that's a perfect screen. There, right there. Perfect. That should be my background. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I just love her too much. I'm definitely gonna try to pull for her. Hopefully I get her. Hopefully I win my 50-50. Uh, I got my guaranteed pull last time when I got um, Gelan. So I could technically lose my 50-50. And if I do, I'm gonna prage that the new mechanic is gonna save me, but hopefully we don't and I get her right away. Anyway, if you wanna see me cry because I don't get her, I'll be live tomorrow 
on Genshin Impact to explore the new Netland, baby. All right. Thank you for watching. Comment in the video what you think in the comments is what I mean. Lots of love. Take care.